I think、uh, many people will think of how to make use of the information to make the infrastructure to be sustainably smarter. Face recognition、uh, is not only about making the payment. We can also establish the individual-based travel information system. In my observation, it's not only in Guangzhou, but nationwide in China.、Uh, many other cities are also talking about the smart city. But uh, uh, since I've been stationed in Guangzhou since 2019, so perhaps I have more understanding about the smart city establishment、uh, in Guangzhou. As we know, Guangzhou is the mega city. So in the mega city, we can talk about many different infrastructures. And traditionally,、uh, especially in China. The first impression about the city is about the infrastructure. We have many visible、uh, infrastructure, especially about the transportation, such as the seaport, airport, as well as the subway and、uh, also the high-speed rail. So the infrastructures、uh, in the city, in the mega city like Guangzhou, I think、uh, if we want to talk about The how to make it smarter. I think、uh, many people will think of how to make use of the information as a tool to make the infrastructure not only to be smarter, but also to be sustainably smarter. Based on the things that I've been doing in Guangzhou, my focus is mainly on the.、Uh, Urban railway, to be more precise, is the urban metro system, the subway. So, if I can use the the metro in Guangzhou as an example, on one hand, we keep building the more、uh, subway metro network, but on the other hand, to be more focused is how to make the public transportations、uh, as the more convenient way. So, the convenience is the key element. So let's let us use the technology. So I think it's not only the singular form technology, but the the, the plural form technologies. Say for example, in China, the moment we take the subway, then we have to go through the security check. So this could be the bottleneck. So is it possible that we make use of the technology as the tool, as the means to make this security check? To be more efficient, to be more precise, to be more hassle-free. So I think this is one example, and that we have been doing, and that has been doing in a different way as compared with other cities. So secondly, after pass the security check, you have to make the payment. Whether you use the QR code, whether you use the the smart card, but Is it possible that we use our face? So even if you don't do not bring your handphone, you still can make the payment to take the subway to fulfill your transportation needs. But I think the the face recognition、uh, is not only about making the payment. At the same time, we can also establish the individual based. Travel information system, so we can analyze the data that you are accumulating on a daily basis. So we can analyze your behavior. We can try to、uh, do the reasoning to understand what you like and、uh, what you may need. So we can push the informations that suit the traveler's needs. So by doing all these little little things together, it may not take a long time. I think. In the very near future, the travelers they will experience、uh, all kind of convenience enabled by the technology as well as the information as well as the data. So, when we live in the city of such kind, then we will experience a better life.